Hello everybody and welcome to my second round World Cup predictions. I'll be making four of these, one for each quarter of the draw. So here's the second quarter. Um, as you can see my predictions were stars. I only got four out of eight right. I think Elm beating Notorious New was a, was a huge shock to most people. Maybe not to people who, who know Elm, but um, yeah, that was Notorious New was a lot of people's favourite really for the tournament, I think. Very good coach. And of course, down at the bottom there, Ducky losing a knee proxy. I mean, somebody had to lose in that game. But, you know, Ducky's such a legend in Champs Ladder that uh, it does suck that he's out a bit. But, you know, you know, full credit in knee proxy. Um, so, yeah, let's let's have a look and see what people have chosen for their skills, double skill, and uh, do the predictions. So, first up is Seri Schmel versus RTSD. Uh, he's gone for... Garden is white, which uh, is absolutely a great choice. Double card, can't argue with that. Um, blocks your hands, ghoul, maybe not so good against other necro. And the rest of the mighty blow, only one wolf. You're kind of missing out on a bit of power there. But uh, not a bad team. But this is the fun team. And I was right in my prediction why he'd started with just mighty blow on the wolf. It was to get piling on. So we're gonna see Claw Mighty Blow piling on in a in, in like you know in a in a two skill limit um, res environment. Still going for Claw Palm, and if he rolls well, it's gonna be good, you know. Um, he does lack guard or no guard whatsoever, so it could be a bit tricky. And he's missing a he doesn't have a white, um, but he's got you know he's so much power in the wolf. If 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 the Claw Palm fires, he's just gonna beat anybody, isn't he? Um, so yeah, very very interesting. I like I like that, and just just for the sheer ballsy, ballsiness of going for Claw Palm, I'm going to pick RTSD. Now we've got Fu Folle with his Lizardman team, and he's going for Leader on the Crocs. And I'll I'll be honest, this isn't something that I thought of, but um, you know, if you don't want to use your double, you know, for like a skill such as Block on the Crocs ago. It's letting him get an extra reroll, isn't it? Which gives him a skink reserve that he wouldn't have had. So basically, his choice was block on the crocs or a twelfth man. And I didn't like the twelfth man build, but I wasn't I wasn't playing the 4D chess that some people were. So, you know, like Ungern it, with his human team, it's really a good idea. It gets you an extra player rather than a double, if you don't want to use the double, um, you know, for anything. You know, like it, it, it's good, isn't it? It make, basically makes him more TV. By getting the uh, reroll, so yeah, actually, I think that's a pretty good idea, and uh, it's something that I did with Lizard Men in Black Box on Fumble. So I, I really like the choice of the leader Crocs. And he's up against Elm, who has taken block on his werewolf. Now, it's not a double, but you know he really needed it. I think I would have started with block on it and not had block on the flesh golem, but I understand why. You know, well, I don't. But I understand that not everyone thinks like me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's okay, isn't it? Um, but I just think in this matchup, it favours the lizard men unless the necro get lucky. Now, of course, the necro have a block mighty blow wolf. They've got a couple of guard. They can get lucky, um, you know. But I I think on the balance of probabilities. I'm going to back Fu Fale with his lizard men. So next up we have Guinness versus Junior 84 with a lizard man mirror match. The tackle on the Saurus may be relevant for Guinness here, but he's, he's for his double he's gone block on the Crocs ago. Which, you know, it, it makes sense that I guess the Crocs is going to have to make a lot of blocks in a mirror. Um, I would have liked to have gone block sure hands on a skink eventually, but you know, you, you, you can't think about future games, can you? You've got to win the game that's in front of you. And yeah, likely to be making lots of blocks with the Crocs ago, both of them, so makes sense. And if it looks like Junior84 has had the same thought, because he's gone block on his Crocs. He's got more block, but lacks one tackle compared to Guinness. Um, you know, it's going to be pretty 50-50. He also doesn't have an Apothecary, whereas Guinness went for an Apothecary. But he's got the reserve, so maybe he'll foul again, like he did in the first round. Uh, Junior84 has the tabletop pedigree, but... I'm going to back the current world champion, uh, the reigning defending world champion Guinness. Uh, but, you know, again, all these games can go either way, and I've just got to pick somebody, so let's go with Guinness. 
and in what is likely to be the tie of this uh, quarter of the draw, we have three winner of three qualifiers, Philadius versus conqueror of Ducky Knee Proxy. Uh, Philadius has gone for block and his Croxigore. Again, makes sense in this particular matchup and in the next round as well. Um, he's, if he wins, he's he's probably going to be blocking a lot with his Croxigore, you know, fighting Strength 5 Mummies and Strength 4 Saurus and Strength 5 Croxes. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense to go block on the Crocs. And Knee Proxy went block on a Mummy, and again, that makes a lot of sense. If he, if he wins this game, the next game is against Lizards. He's going to be having to block with his Mummy quite a bit. Block is the natural choice for that. Guard would have been okay. Um, I like his team as well with, with four ghouls. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he's beaten Ducky already. I'm going to back Knee Proxy to win this one as well. So there you go, the stars of my picks. And looking forward to watching all of them. I will be casting them all on Twitch and putting all the replays on YouTube. So be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.